Hello friends, I'm Meghna Thomas and welcome back to our channel Golden Uplets Aviation Pilot Training Academy, your route to the cockpit. In my previous video, I had solved for you a few questions from the topic speed, distance and time. Well, in this series, we are actually going to see some uh, questions which are generally asked for your written exam for the Cadet Pilot Program examination. We are seeing topics from maths. Today, we are going to see questions from profit and loss, ages and clocks. So without wasting any time, let us see the first subtopic that is profit and loss. I'm going to be reading out the first question to you and I'm going to be trying my best to solve it for you as well. So the first question from profit and loss is a man incurs 10% loss by selling a bag at Rs 540. At what price should the bag be sold to earn a profit of 20%? I've already solved this for you. So let me take you through the solution. Now, what we are already given in the question is that the loss is 10%. We are given the selling price which is of 540. I am sure you all are aware of the formula. Selling price is equal to 100 minus loss percent by 100 into CP. If you are not aware of it, please make a note of it. Now you substitute whatever you know. We know the selling price that is 540. Uh, we just substitute the loss here which is 100 minus 10 by 100 into CP. We will be finding out the CP so we are going to do the cross multiplication and after all the cancellations we are going to get the CP as rupees 600. So this is your CP. Now coming back to the question there is another part which says at what price should the bag be sold to earn a profit of 20%. So now that we've already got the CP as Rs. 600. Now to sell the bag at a profit, the formula is selling price is 100 plus profit percent upon 100 into CP. Please make a note of this also. This is an important formula. And, and again you substitute because we'll be finding out the SP this time. Substitute the, uh, the profit and CP. That will be 100 plus 20 upon 100 into 600. We had already found this here. Yeah. So that is the CP that I've put here. So this is the CP and this is what you'll put. Now solving everything, your answer that you're gonna get is 720, which means that when you sell this bag at rupees 720, you will be earning a profit of 20%. So this is the solution for this question. I hope the solution is clear to you. Now let's move on to the next question. The question is, Krishna's age after 15 years will be five times his age five years back what is the present age of krishna so here you're given that his age after 15 years is going to be five times his age five years back that's the solution now uh, let's assume that k is present age k is krishna i'm just writing it in the short form here for you uh, present age is x okay now this age in 15 years is going to be x plus 15 and again, they've mentioned five years back. You know, Krishna's age after 15 years will be five times his age five years back. So what his age five years ago is X minus five. We're assuming it as X minus five. So now let's put that into an equation. It already says that Krishna's age in 15 years. So that was X plus 15 will be five times his age five years ago. So X minus five, all that we'd already written here five years ago. So you put in those, you substitute, you make it a, a equation. And now you solve this equation, you have to find the value of x. I have solved it over here. I've got the answer as x is equal to 10, which means Krishna's present age is 10 years and this is your answer. Well, this was quite a simple solution. It wasn't very complicated. So I'm sure you all must have uh, understood this. Now, the next question is from clocks and it is find the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock when the time is 630. Now, let me take a moment here to explain to you what this means. I have drawn two clocks for you right here as you can see the small handle is the min uh, hour handle and the bigger handle is your minutes handle now if you see that this hour hand to go round the clock that is to go 360 degree it takes 12 hours and the same with the minute handle for the minute handle to go round 360 degree that is one full circle it takes 60 minutes right so the R needle, R, R needle takes 12 hours to go for a 360 degree rotation and the minute needle takes 60 minutes to go for a 360 degree rotation. Now, in this question, I will first take you with the hour hand. Let us convert 6 hours and 30 minutes to hours. How do you convert that? 
you just uh, convert this minutes into hours that will be since we have 60 minutes in an hour you just divide 30 by 60 quite simple we all already know how it is so you get 39 by 6 hours we are not going to complicate it any further we'll just keep it like this for a better understanding now let's come to the second part of this now what we already know is your hour needle takes 12 hours to go for 360 degree turn how many degrees will it finish in 39 by 6 hours this is what we need to find so we will just do the cross multiplication and you will get your x as 195 degrees which means in 39 by 6 hours this needle goes for an angle of 195 degree all right now let's come to the minute handle for the minute what you do is you again convert 630 to minutes 6 hours 30 minutes you convert into minutes so in one hour you have 60 minutes so 6 hours will give you 6 into 60 plus 30 that is this here it is so uh, it will give you 390 minutes so as you can see that the needle goes 360 degree in 60 minutes that is a minute needle goes 360 degree in 60 minutes we had already seen that here I had shown you the example uh, the minute needle to go around 360 degree it takes about 60 minutes so coming back how many degrees will it go in 390 minutes now there is a catch here as we already know that one hour has 60 minutes so 60 into 6 hours is 360 we already know that it goes in 60 minutes the needle goes 360 degrees so we already have 360 over here we just need to find the degrees for 30 minutes as we already know that 360 is done in 60 minutes so we are remaining with the 30 minutes so we need to just find 30 minutes now again we're going to put i mean we're going to cross multiply again so 360 into 30 by 60 i've done the multiplication and it is 180 degree which means the minute handle will give you 180 degree the angle 180 degree in 30 minutes now you have to find the angle between the hour needle and the minute needle so the angle between them is we already got the answer for the hour needle as 195 degrees and the minute needle 180 you just subtract it and the answer is 15 degrees so that is your answer i hope you've understood the solution i hope uh, you will have no doubts about it well, I hope you do find my videos useful. I have just done sample questions with you today. Well, these are just examples and uh, I have solved them to the best of my capability. However, if you are someone who is preparing for your Cadet Pilot Program exam or you wish to prepare for your Cadet Pilot Program exam, please feel free to come and visit us at Golden Eplets Aviation or you can contact us. The address and contact details are mentioned below. I will be posting a few more videos on this particular topic while we are going to be covering a few more subtopics in the same uh, the written exam for maths. So I hope you have already subscribed to our channel. Stay tuned for more such videos and updates. What are you waiting for? Come let's fly!